Taking one full week to visit Grand Teton National Park is definitely preferable, but if you're like us, you may find yourself in the area without a lot of time to spare. We had one day to make the most out of a trip to the Tetons, and I think we did a pretty good job. Entering Yellowstone this early in the morning was pretty magical. The wildlife is very active early in the morning, so we were able to see quite a few buffalo during our drive. You'll drive 27 miles on the John D. Rockefeller Memorial Parkway before entering Grand Teton National Park. We saw some incredible views of Jackson Lake before stopping at the Coulter Bay Visitor Center to get a map. At the visitor center, we read a lot more about the history and establishment of the park. Grand Teton National Park is one of the 10 most visited national parks in the U.S., with 2.8 million people alone visiting the park in 2022. As far as the establishment, John D. Rockefeller was a huge proponent of preserving the Jackson Hole region, so he started purchasing up the land that was to become the Grand Teton National Park and eventually was able to donate it in 1949. With only one day in the Tetons, I knew I wanted to go to Jenny Lake, so we made the 30-minute drive from Coulter Bay down to the Jenny Lake Visitor Center. Even though this is a top 10 national park, it definitely doesn't feel that way in terms of crowds. We were out here on the beach section of Jenny Lake and there was hardly anyone else out here. It really felt like we had the whole place to ourselves. Keep in mind it was about 10.30 a.m. or so, but still definitely not something that we typically experience in the popular national parks. Having an entire section of an alpine lake to yourself in the Tetons is a pretty awesome experience. And if you're wondering about the temperature of the water, it is cold, but not as cold as you might think. We stayed on the shore of Jenny Lake for a bit, just enjoying the water, the views of the ferry, and some much needed breakfast. Even though I was dying to ride the ferry, we decided that we would hike a portion of the Jenny Lake Loop to make it to the other side of the lake and visit Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point and then ride the ferry back to the other side. The full Jenny Lake Loop is a 7.1 mile trail that encircles the entire lake, but since we were pressed for time, we opted to do a little less than half of it. Moose pond. Wow. That way. Should we do How that? How far of a detour is that? Where are we? We're over here. Okay. Oh, that's a whole thing. Maybe on the way back? Yeah. Even though this is a very well trafficked trail and we saw plenty of other hikers, we did keep our bear spray accessible and made sure that we made plenty of noise on our hike. The Grand Tetons are home to grizzly bears, so it's always best practice to hike in groups and just remain aware of your surroundings. We just came across someone on the trail who was picking wild raspberries 
as soon as she pointed them out to us they were like impossible to not see they are everywhere on this trail so we picked a couple of wild raspberries and they're like the best raspberries i've ever had in my life swim break we were just a short distance away from hidden falls which is just a short walk that takes you to a beautiful cascading waterfall this was actually a pretty busy spot and there were a lot of families visiting the area Just after Hidden Falls, you'll cross a short bridge to get started on the Inspiration Point hike. The Inspiration Point hike is one of the most popular hikes in the park. If you don't want to hike around the lake like we did, you can ride the ferry across the lake instead and do the 1.8 mile out and back hike to Inspiration Point and then back down to the ferry. other side of the lake and we used our two legs to make it all the way up here the views from the top of inspiration point were absolutely incredible it was so picture worthy up here and just so beautiful but the best part was probably these little chipmunks these guys are definitely used to having visitors and you can tell they're just on the lookout for everybody's food. Obviously you should not feed these guys, but they are not afraid to get up and get in your business. After our hikes for the day, we ended up clocking about 5.1 miles, which was not bad considering the time crunch that we were on. Riding the ferry back was super awesome too, and it was such a great way to get another view of the lake. To ride the ferry, it's only $12 per person, and they'll let you pay when you reach the visitor center. We finished up our evening with a much needed drink and snack and a lot of swimming before beginning our drive back to West Yellowstone. Have you visited Grand Teton National Park? I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, I will catch you in the next one.